what you guys got another video here for you on can a virus destroy your computer now if you are photosensitive to flashing imagery or you suffer with epilepsy then turn off the video now because there is flashing images in this video so the short answer is can a virus destroy your computer it can certainly uh, delete files and reformat the drive erase all the data on the drive encrypt data on the drive and do stuff like this to your computer. Now, this particular Trojan, I think it's called MEMZ, M-E-M-Z, I think it is. And basically what it's going to do is open up your browser and do a bunch of searches on there for the Samaritans and how to remove a virus and some other stuff. It'll also flash the screen here on your desktop, uh, and you can see it opening up um, more web pages here. And this is obviously going to tax the system uh, you've got control of the cursor here, which uh, will literally put loads of little crosses on the screen here when I move it about. And there's loads of little warning signs coming up here. Windows and pop-up boxes are opening here as well. I've cut the sounds out because they're quite annoying. You get a lot of uh, window sounds repeating in the background very fast. And again, the flashing here is just annoyance, really. Now, what this also does is open up calculator, notepad, command prompt, and other types of Windows, built-in Windows applications. It would then move on to taunting you, basically, on the screen with a bunch of websites that it opens up and also little pop-up boxes with messages on them. And again, it's just controlling the whole computer. And it will start to get really, really erratic in a minute. It will start tunneling the whole uh, computer so you'll see this in a second and it just continues to taunt you if you look at the start button it also changes the wording on the start button here and it starts to get more and more aggressive as it goes along you can see it's starting to pick up pace now more web browsers are being opened or pages are being opened here and again eventually it's going to put so much load on the computer and it will crash and you'll get a blue screen and that's what its aim is to do it's a bit of a prank type uh, trojan and you can see it's starting to load up now more and more and it's starting to step in a little bit closer here now there's a bunch of different endings to this it will say your computer has been trashed and uh by the uh, mems trojan i think it's called mems probably butchering that name and then you can enjoy the neon cat or whatever you call it and it's an animation at the end of the screen you'll also get a blue screen as well for the crashing that is going to cause and I cut this off. You'll get Bonza Buddy coming up on the screen here and a bunch of other things which I've cut out as well because there was just so much time in between all of this. And you can see it's just escalating into something really bad here. And again, this was going to really tax the system. So this is on a Windows XP system, and it's on a virtual machine. So th this is a 32-bit Trojan uh, virus here. So... Now, even though Windows XP was one of the most favorite operating systems for a lot of people, it was super easy to infect, and there was tons of malware released out into the wild, which would really cripple uh, Windows XP. And you can see the start button now is starting to change here, and we're getting loads of tunneling going on here on the screen. So these viruses do exist, and these uh, types of malicious files are out there in the wild and if you've got an older system and you're not protected you're going to end up with something happening to your computer so can this happen to windows 11 it's it can happen but it's very unlikely nowadays because of the security features that have been put in place that stops this from you know crippling the system like this so windows xp back in the day was super easy and as a technician i used to remove tons of malware on the system and there was really a challenge to remove them and it was a battle between you and the virus at the time because there were so many of them and every day you would get pcs coming in infested with malware and viruses and things like that so, so thankfully that is a thing of the past you don't really see a lot of that in 2022 with the modern operating systems and the problem with malware and viruses and other types of trojans and things like that that get put out there in the wild they then get uh, adapted and changed over the course of time to become even more malicious and more damaging you know and this is what people can do 
they will constantly re-edit these and it will be version 1, version 2, version 3 and so on. And again, what will happen is eventually someone will add some nasty malicious code in there which will do something that is completely destructive to uh, the Windows operating system. And as you can see now, it's just getting absolutely ridiculous. And you can imagine something like this happening to your computer when you're at home and you're using your PC and you click on something and all of a sudden this happens to your PC. It's a gradual thing. It starts redirecting and you start getting redirects to other uh, sites and things like that and you're getting pages loading up that you don't want to see. And eventually things start to happen like pop-up boxes and programs opening and then this starts to happen at the end. So this could be easily adapted to become even worse than what it is. And this is what um, people do. They generally make these really nasty uh, Trojans and they stick them out there in the wild and they just become so bad. Same as ransomware, they get adapted. and People make their own versions of them and they put them out there and they just spread like wildfire. So when we boot up here, again, you'll get this message here. And this message can change when people adapt to change this actual trojan and this says your computer has been trashed so that's basically what this message says here now if we look on the uh, wiki here it'll give you all the information about this particular trojan and how to remove it and you can use the task kill space forward slash f uh, space forward slash i m space uh, m e m s dot e x e space forward slash t and this will kill the actual uh, trojan that's running there the problem is uh, you will then have to go into the command prompt and uh, fix the master boot record, the boot sector and stuff by using the boot rec fix boot and boot rec fix MBR. You can't use those commands on Windows XP because they didn't exist then. So you'd have to do other commands. I did try those on XP, uh, the right commands like fix MBR and, fit, and it didn't work. So I tried to also recover the partition table and I booted up with a part partition recovery software and you can see it's unallocated, so it's uh, damaged the actual uh, partition here, so it won't boot. And I tried fix MBR and stuff from here as well, and of course that didn't work either. So it is possible that it could, you know, damage uh, the uh, partition table, so it won't boot, and you could end up losing all your data. You would then have to do date recovery and hopefully try to get your data back. And again, depending on what variant you're using, which version you're using will determine what, damage is done someone could add in some other code that does other things and this is what happens with viruses and malware and trojans and other types of infections they will adapt them to do more damage and this is what we see with the uh, rogues and stuff in the day when they used to adapt those to stop you opening up command prompts and stop you going into the registry editor and you had to find a way around it to uh, to remove it and this is what uh, the creators do of these particular malicious um, files they will try to add more uh, destruction to it so this one in itself probably started out as a bit of fun and it's now turned into something a little bit more malicious where it damages your partition table and you can't boot up the system and you can see here that because the partition table is unallocated there's no information there to boot to so you can try to fix MBR and fix boot if that's going to allow you to try and fix it. I tried it on this one and it wouldn't work and the system still wouldn't boot. And that's the risk you take with these particular types of viruses and Trojans uh, because some of them do more damage than others. And again, this one particular, I think they said it was fixable, but in this case, it wasn't. But it doesn't really matter because this was just a virtual machine and I was having a play around just to show you guys how destructive uh, Trojans and viruses can be to the computer system. So once you click on these files and it releases its payload, it's you're pretty much done for with some viruses. There is some really nasty ones out there and some of them will literally, you know, be unrecoverable. Even ransomware, some of these ransomwares out there today will encrypt all of your data and there is no way of recovering your data with uh, these particular ransomware. Some of them you can decrypt them and get your data back, but not all. So you need to be a bit careful with what you're clicking on. And these and these Trojans and viruses are very fun to play with and look at in the modern day in a safe environment. And that's what we're doing here on a virtual machine. Now, if you like this type of content, maybe consider subscribing. 
And if you want to show your support, you can always go over to my main YouTube page and hit the join button. It's not free, but it just shows a little bit of support towards me by joining my YouTube members group, which costs £4.99 pence a month. You can cancel at any time and it gives you a few little perks and it just shows your appreciation for all the work and effort that I put on here on YouTube. Anyway, that's about it for this one. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. And I will see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Thank you.